Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint lava effect. Using white from Vallejo I'm going to paint the areas where I'm going to build up the lava colors. For me, it's essential that the undercoat to build up those nice colors is white. Next, we're going to use these additional four colors, beginning with red. And then I'm going to use as my shade and, and mid-tones this fire orange and this hot orange. And highlight and increase the highlights with yellow and white. First we will paint the red along the edges of all the rocks and the reason why I'm doing this with red is because observing lava there's a lot of red in the areas that are cooler and as it works its way into the center which is the hottest point it gets brighter and that's what we're going to try to simulate. As you can see, I'm purposely painting some of that red on the bottom parts of the rocks. This will make sense in the next steps. Moving on to the light orange, we'll connect that red with this brighter color because now we're moving into the center and the center, as I mentioned before, is the hottest point, but it's also the brightest. The next color is the light yellow and I'm just going to go ahead and cover the rest of the white. Don't worry if at this point you see rough lines. We will smooth this down very easily in a further step. I dipped the tip of the brush in white just to light up the yellow a little bit and paint the only the center of this canal that we just made with the light yellow and moving forward with the other highlighted tones we're going to do the same thing just paint on the very center of each layer I've increased the intensity of the of the yellow by adding more whites and just painting a very thin line inside that yellow because again we're trying to recreate that effect that it's lava is cooler near the rocks but as it gets to the center of that canal it's really really hot that is the hotter, hottest point of this piece I took a small amount of the dark orange and I diluted it to an airbrush consistency because I'm trying to wet blend those rough red lines that we saw at the beginning just to give the look a bit of a more of a creamier smooth transition of colors and I will show you how the paint is supposed to look like in order for you to do that. The secret to making smooth creamy transitions of colors in any miniature model is diluting your paint and just blending everything one thin layer at a time. I've added more white to the yellow mix and now this gives me a, a center point where there's just basically active fire in the center of this base. And now instead of just painting a whole straight line, I'm just giving a broken patchy touch to it just to simulate a different organic variety in this, in this lava.
to really make your piece stand out and look the part, add some glow effect and reflection around the rocks. And by doing this, you dilute the paint the way I show here, as I mentioned earlier, to an airbrush consistency and apply the paints in thin layers. Once it dries, you can go and do some edge highlighting with some of the colors, very subtle, and you'll get a more convincing effect. I apply the wash mostly towards the bottom of the rocks connecting with that red that I painted at the beginning, just to simulate stronger reflection at the bottom because it's closer to the lava. And just like that, as easy as one, two, three, you can make really cool lava bases and dioramas for your miniatures. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Happy New Year.